Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922 here. Okay, this will probably be the first episode of you while I'll be using the thumbnails. Um, Bimbo Gami Gun, episode 6. This one was called Open Your Eyes. Now, basically, in this one, pretty much a continuation from last week, where we had um, Keita... You know, he fell. He fell from that cliff. Um, and and they're wondering where Keita is, the, the, you know, his sisters and younger brothers. And what happens is Michiko, you know, as Ichiko, she returns and realizes that he's not there. And then you got this look of shock on the eldest sister. And, and at some point, this, I think it's the second eldest. Second eldest. She, um, trying to think. Yeah, second eldest. She, um, starts crying and talking about the mother, their mother and dad, mom and dad, that they left completely and saying, and then Ryu, I think it's Ryu, what's his name? Ryuya. Ryuta. Ryuta. Ryuta says, oh, he's not like that. He's not. That's not going to happen. Stop crying, you know. And they're all in tears and shit. And Ichiko is remembering her childhood with her parents and how they left her all alone. And then that's when she decides, no, no screwing around. She's going to go in there and find him. And she tells the eldest sister, I'm going to find Keita. So, you know, so on and so forth. So, what ends up happening is, um, we get a scene with Keita. He's on the ground, bleeding from the head. His leg seems to be broken. It's not looking good for him. So, we... During this also, we get a scene where they, they tell the bus driver to leave because their brother's not back. So they decide to stick around and wait for him. So that's pretty much what's going down here. So they wait for him. And moment, uh, Michiko, <laughs> she, or Ichiko, she's going through and she decides to call up Momo. Momo. You know, the dog. <laughs> she blows the whistle, the dog comes out. And she asks the dog to smell the, hand the handkerchief. Because if he smells the handkerchief, he'll track him down. So eventually, she's using the baby spirit she has to, to fly, this baby dragon, to fly through the air. And she finds him. And he's bloodied and bruised and not looking very well. And she's like, she's banging his chest, trying to bring him back to life. Saying, open your eyes, open your eyes. Saying that, you know, I'm not going to... You're not putting this responsibility on me, saying, you know, you need to take care of your family. Who, who they're not going to have you if, you know, you know, so and so forth. And then right behind her is Momoji, and she sticks the needle in her. And takes out the fortune. And she basically says to her, oh, I'm not a grim reaper. I'm just a misfortune, got a misfortune. So, and besides, if a human dies caused by me, I will be forced to go back home. So that means if someone dies caused by Momoji, she goes back home. I know I really, really did not know about that. So this was kind of an interesting episode so far. And then, and then basically, <laughs> Ichiko is not even going to think twice about this. She breaks the glass that the, the, her fortune was contained in, and he comes back to li life. Um, he's back to normal. Um, Keita, and everything's okay. And then he wakes up, realizing everything's fine. He carries Momo, uh, Ichiko, <laughs> get those names mixed up so quickly, easily, um, back to where the others are. And it's a big reunion with the brothers and sisters, and it's really just very emotional, very emotional episode. This was totally not what you thought it would have been. And this was only like the first half. 
So, and then we get this scene where um, they go back home. And there's a scene with the dog and Bobby and Priest. And they hunt down the turtle guy. I forgot the guy's name. But that turtle, sea turtle, who has the um, the age reversing, the aging um, device thing that he used on Momoji, on uh, Ichiko before. And I hunt him down and he beat the crap out of this guy. And they obviously take the thing and they're going to use it on Ichiko. So Ichiko then decides that she's going to levelly just normally just continue staying at their house with um, Keita and his fa and his sister and his siblings siblings. And at that night she tells him, you know, oh she makes up some excuse that oh I loved uh Ryuta and that's why uh, you know and I'm moving away, you know, some stupid excuse. And then she leaves. And when she returns, she bumps into Bobby and the Momo, Momo, the dog, and they give her the age reversal thing. And she opens it, smoke comes out, she turns back to normal, but she's got this face on. Like, it seems like, you know, totally different. She's not what she used to be. Like, she's totally struck. You know, she's understanding things when she was a kid that she had realized that she hadn't realized when now she was, she's like in high school. And the moment she's there and she's saying like how it's too late for her to realize that, which I find kind of ridiculous. Um, and she's getting yelled by her superior because they're all fucking around, screwing around in the moment in uh, Ichiko's apartment and she doesn't do anything. She walks in and she's just, and the super is like, you're busy. And then she's saying that I'm not going to um, do that because of her demeanor. Because of Mo, because of Ichiko's demeanor, she's not going to do that. So what ends up happening is Bobby the priest tries to do something and it doesn't do anything. And this was one scene with the priest and... Ichigo does something, and he says, Vegeta! <laughs> Another Dragon Ball Z reference. I was so freaking funny. Anyway, moving right along, what happens is then the dog tries, the Momo, he tries to do something. She doesn't do anything. He does, She doesn't do anything. He's like strapped on this thing, and he's oh, she's going to whip me and stuff. She doesn't do anything. She undoes the thing. He's got a ball gag in his mouth. And she's hugging him. It's like totally not her. It's totally different. She's not what she seems now. And later on, we obviously find out why she's acting like this. Apparently, it's because of Keita. She has her his handkerchief. Because as the moment she's watching her at school, it seems like there's something going on. And she finally figures it out, Momji. Oh, it's the handkerchief to Keita. So she's like freaking out because she's she's right there at his house and she's freaking out about it. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh my god, she's freaking out because she doesn't know how to handle it. And she eventually she's like, choo, 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 choo. she's acting like a chicken, and she gives it to him, and, and then, <laughs> she's banging her head on the in the under the against the pole. <laughs> It was one of those scenes where it's like, come on, you know? Um, so what ends up happening is she gives the handkerchief to him and he says, oh, thank you, you know, and she gives thanks. She she says, oh, just, just be thankful that I came to give it to you, you know, like one of those kind of things. And she just runs off. <laughs> and she's like, I did it, I did it. She's like so happy with herself. And then what ends up happening is she goes home and obviously – now that she's out of that funk, um, she's conscious. She's, she's well aware of what has been going on in her house. Apartment. 
She destroys everything. She freaking annihilates Bobby the priest, the dog, and and Momoji. And <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Oh, that, that ending was so ridiculous. It was so ridiculous. Um, and then we also get the scene with the the, the supervisor of Momoji. And Momoji tells her, oh, No, no, I'm not. I'm staying. I have to defeat her and everything. So it was like one of those things. Um, rating, I guess I will give this, I'm going to give this a four. This was pretty good. This was pretty good. Um, this was very informative and I liked the whole scene that was going on. So yeah, I'm going to give this a four out of five. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty, pretty cool. This was a, this was a good, good, good episode of Bimbo Gamiga. Open your eyes. Um, next week, we're going to get introduced to a new character. This character that I've seen, I've never, I've only seen this kind of character in one show. Surprising, right? The show I saw it in was in My Bride is a Mermaid. You know, the, the um, girl who acts like a tough guy thing? But that's who we're going to get in the next episode. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much what's going down here. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. This was, like I said, this was. I like how this show is going. It's 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 giving you some comedy, but at the same time, it's serious, and it, it's it's emotional, and I like that. I like I, I like the mixture. It it, mo it it really goes well. It really goes well. This is a show that. Um, mixes well with with what they they're putting to the table with it so yeah uh this is bonkai 922 you know the story rate comment subscribe um listen this goes to the i guess you can call them trolls please don't um, i don't i don't like people who say we don't deserve a partnership oh you don't deserve a partnership that's a shitty network. Ah. Oh, by the way, anyone who says that, and I just want to make this one quick, not to get off topic, one quick thing about this. If you say that, and you have no subs, no video views, no videos at all, you have no credibility. That's the way I look at it. People who have no subs and no video views and say things like that, no credibility. Therefore, there's nothing to say about that. Okay, this is Ruben Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Uh, tomorrow, I will do the others. Also tomorrow, the conclusion of the verses. Let's get, I'm telling you right now, uh, people, <laughs> I really, and I have to get off too complicated too, that freaking Sun, Sun Sui versus Ginjo thing, oh my god. It's getting heated, like, big time. But uh, we'll see how that turns out. Like I said, it's Bimbo Gamiga 22. I will see you guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe. Go check out Bimbo Gamiga. This show is getting really good, along with the others. All right? See you guys later.